Hi, everybody. Well, I get asked this question a lot. If there's a norovirus outbreak on a cruise ship, should you get a refund? And should you, if you don't, should you be able to sue the cruise line? Um, well, let's talk about that. So currently there is a case where Carnival is being sued um, because of the uh, Sun Princess ship had an outbreak of uh, norovirus on one of the sailings way back in 2016. And one person is filing a claim as a class action suit. She was a lawyer who was on board. It's funny how the lawyers seem to be the ones who want to sue, um, but that's neither, neither here nor there. She, it was already thrown out once, but it was amended and re-put back in. And she's saying that Carnival mishandled, uh, I think up to 12 different cruises over the course of a, a few years with norovirus. In the statement, they also said that uh, they should have been notified right away that there was a possibility of a norovirus outbreak uh, as soon as three passengers had norovirus. First of all, it could be just a stomach flu with three passengers. You don't know it's norovirus, so I don't know if that's a possibility. But they are suing for saying that they, uh, they were in their room. Her sister had originally caught it. And her sister was extremely sick, having um, diarrhea and vomiting. And she said many times while carrying her sister to the bathroom, it doesn't say how old the sister is, but carrying her sister to the bathroom, I'm, I'm assuming she's an adult because of the next part of this, carrying her to the bathroom at many times, stuff fell on the floor. Um, she was not offered another room and had to stay in the room with her sister and eventually she caught it as well even though the room smelled like you know even though they cleaned it it still smelled like stuff will smell if you on the carpet right well uh, there's a couple answers first of all um, does carnival have enough empty rooms to get everybody who is sharing a room with somebody who had nor uh, during a nor norovirus outbreak separate rooms, uh, I, I doubt it, I doubt it, because that would be, you know, a third of the ship, possibly. If there's 200 people who come down with norovirus and they're each sharing a room with somebody, that's 200 cabins they have to find, and I don't think they can. Um, most cruise lines are, you know, close to the 100% capacity. But she's also saying that, you know, the whole mishandling of the situation, they should have been warned and I love what she's suing for. She wants a full refund and damages for the inconvenience, distress, and disappointment caused during the cruise. She's suing for disappointment. I was very disappointed. I didn't have the time of my life on this cruise. I'm... I, I was very disappointed I got sick on a cruise. Carnival has responded by saying that they followed all the protocols that are out there. And um, the, uh, they said it is, it is norovirus, chance of a norovirus outbreak is, a, is merely an ordinary risk inherent in activities where people congregate. And that's their defense. And they said they instituted cleaning. They instituted changing the way they're handing out food at the buffets and places like that. They did what they could to slow and stop the spread of the norovirus. Now, they're suing and now it's part of a class action suit. Uh, and I'm, it was thrown out once and I, I think it's gonna get thrown out again. I'm no lawyer. But here's one of the logical reasonings I have behind it. Because cruise ships are not the primary places of norovirus. Schools, hospitals, hotels, 
restaurants are way above cruise ships in how many places have norovirus outbreaks. And if you allow a class action suit for an illness going around in a building that has a lot of people staying in it, you're now opening lawsuits to government buildings, to hospitals, to schools, to hotels, to restaurants. And I don't think they want to open that can of worms because that would be an industry on its own. There are hundreds upon hundreds of outbreaks of norovirus across the United States each year. And of those, may, you know, this year is an exception, but normally there's about 10 on cruise ships throughout the world, throughout the world. Yet there are hundreds upon hundreds in the United States alone. Imagine the rest of the world as well. Opening up a lawsuit saying that, hey, yeah, they can sue and they can sue for disappointment. Now, often, if there's a large outbreak and you're stuck in your room for any length of time, often the cruise ship will give you a refund or a partial refund during a big outbreak. That does happen. I'm not sure in this case what anything was offered, if anything at all, because it was 2016. It was quite a ways ago. Um, it was, uh, I think, even before I started the channel, so that's how long ago. But yeah, I don't think that this has got any legs. I don't think it's going to be able to go, like I said, it was already thrown out once. It will probably get thrown out again. I, I have a feeling they're looking for Carnival to settle. And I don't think in this case they are because they know that it's like one of those groundbreaking cases that if it sides with the plaintiff, there it opens up tons of potential lawsuits right across the world. And so uh, I wish you all the luck in the world, but uh, I don't think suing because you accidentally got sick on a ship, they didn't do it on purpose. Had they maliciously did it on purpose and hid something from you? Um, maybe, but I, I don't see any sign of that from all the reports I'm reading from what I can find. So uh, yeah, suing for inconvenience, distress, and disappointment. If only life were like that, right? If only we could just go, you know what? I was really disappointed the Blue Jays lost when I went to the baseball game. And I got a little sick from the hot dog. I'm suing the Blue Jays and the stadium and Major League Baseball because I didn't feel well after the hot dog and I was disappointed in the outcome of the baseball game. Kind of sums it up in my opinion, but hey, I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a cruiser. Um, and at no point when I've ever gotten sick on a cruise ship have I ever thought to myself, I'm gonna sue the cruise line because I'm really disappointed.